What is up guys, it is Simon here and welcome back to the next uh, installment of our Medieval Let's Play. So in the previous episode we defeated the stained glass demon of the hilltop mausoleum. Uh, we visited the Hall of Heroes, we picked up the hammer. So now we're off our way to return to the graveyard and we're going to use that uh, gate key that we uh, received when we defeated the stained glass demon. So return to the graveyard is the same level as the original graveyard, except you run backwards through it. And straight away we're greeted with zombies, so let's test out this new club. Sends them flying. I'd love to knock one of them. No, it didn't work. Okay. Oh. oh no, okay. Yeah, Dan can't swim. So... We'll pop back up, use a life bottle, that doesn't matter, but we're going to drop down on one of these uh, coffins here. And we're going to go to a secret area. I'm always a little bit uh, nervous about jumping on these, especially in the water. Meanwhile, I love the colour of that water. Obviously, it doesn't look that great because of the PlayStation 1 graphics, but it's just, just the colours they use in this game I find absolutely awesome. Once I jump up, there we go, that's what we want. So we'll get some gold. There we go, stocked up there. How much do we have? We have 640 gold coins. Who's a clever skeleton then? Remember that there are many more secret areas like this throughout the land of Galamir. Some offering more than just treasure. So you always need to keep looking around while you're playing this game so you find everything. But we'll run back to the start. Ooh, stay away from all that. Oh, even more. We've got headless zombies. Alright. As long as they don't charge us. No way. The club seems to work pretty well on them. Stomping, stomping them down. Jump up here. Grab the coins. What we got? Oh. I hate those headless zombies just because they can run so fast. They're a bit of a bother, but they're not doing too much damage to us. We're going all right so far. Done the splits and is smashing the ground. I love what the club, how the club does damage. Not the club, the hammer. Sorry. I hope I haven't been saying club this whole time. Come on, guys. Look. What's wrong with him? He's glitching out. Look at him wobble. All right. Put you out of your misery. It's all good now. Right. What's that? There we go. A vial. Hey, the silver shield. So, a little bit more durability than the small bronze shield. Or oh, what's the name of it? Bronze or copper? No, copper shield. Radio. So, do we need to stock up? There we go. All right, we're full. Now let's. Ah, oh, I defeated all those enemies, and I could have just used that. Um damage chest here. We'll hit it anyway. Oh, of someone. The hammer's a bit slow. Right, yeah. So we've already read that when we came through, but we'll go. Ah, uh, this is what we like to see. Life fountain. 
So let's do a little trick. Up on the gravestone, jump across. Top up. Beautiful. Okay, let's open up the skull gates. And this is going to open up uh, the rest of Gallomere. Open the map up to the rest of Gallomere, sorry. So, skull key. And there's a new type of enemy. Straight away, you can just see uh, there's something laying on the ground just in front of us. So, we'll see. We can wake up. Dead. It's a dog. So. I thought that was a chest there for a second, but it's just a cross, so. The dogs are asleep. Can you walk past them? You can. But if you run, they wake up. They're not too dangerous, they're just a bit of a nuisance. He's a nuisance. Okay, what's this? Undertakers. Okay. Want to be faster on your feet? Want to be able to bash down walls by charging into them? All you have to do is defeat the evil guardians of the graveyard and gain this new ability. You will never know uh, what you left in the grave. You'll never know. I cannot read today. You will never know why you left the grave without it. I'm tripping over my words everywhere. But anyway, let's run up here get the rune that we need so we can go into the Undertakers. Pretty sure there's some cool stuff in there. Okay, so the star rune. Seeing at the top of this uh, hill here, you can hear the wind blowing and stuff. Like, I love it. I love how just older PlayStation 1 games still have those really awesome, like, um, ambient sounds and stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's run down here. Get some gold coins. Try not to fall in the slop. Beautiful. More coins. There's a health vial over here. Energy vial. Ah, so here's the chalice. Let's see if there's not going to be enemies down here somewhere. Okay, so they just fall out of the sky. There's like three of them. Get out of it. Alright, so what's this? Oh, we jump. Ah, that's right. Okay. I'm, I'm remembering what to do. So there should be a bunch of blocks up here. We push them into the water. Or the slop, whatever you want to call it. And it makes like a makeshift bridge. So a, we have someone trapped behind this block. Oh, he's got through! Get that energy vial. Why not? Beautiful, thank you. Back to full health. Straight off the edge. Oh, I don't want to fall off the edge. Charles can be collected. We will go back for that. Push, Dan. Push. Wish you could push a bit faster. Now we'll just have to go to the other side. That done as well. That won't be too bad. Are you selling anything good, buddy? Just throwing dirt. I don't know why I waste my money on those. Thought we were falling in for sure. Uh -huh. Thank you. I think I'd be ready for it by now. for the next one. He's still got me, but... Right. Oh, straight off. That's disappointing. 
and a waste of life. Dad. Careful. We'll jump up here. Conveniently placed. Love it. Alright, this is the last one. Let's go. Uh, this is this is a boss fight, but it's kind of a mini boss fight. We'll get that daring dash ability that the book was talking about previously. Die, I don't die to an enemy, I die to like a stupid <sighs> control mistake. Right, let's try that again. Don't do it again, mate. Come on, Dan, what are you doing? Alright, got it. Guardians of the Graveyard. how when they teleport they can hurt you still. Ah, stop it! Got him! Beautiful. The evil guardians of the graveyard have been vanquished. Uh, you have claimed the daring dash ability. Use it well, Sir Dan. So, uh, you just run and then hit triangle. It does a sprint. Help him jump as well so you can go a little bit quicker. So dash, jump. Beautiful. Righto. Let's go to the Hall of Heroes. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Nasty, painful death. Righto. Cheers, Blake. Radio. Hall of Heroes. Those gargoyles are just so depressing. They never say anything nice. They're just not. Nah, you're gonna die, Dan. Deal with it. You're gonna die again. Okay, he's got nothing to say, so we'll go back down to old Iron Hammer or whatever his name was. Bravo, Fortescue! Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack for now. But I knew you'd pull through. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, just money. Just gold coins. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Right here, let's go. Let's go back to the map save our game and see what level we're going to take on in the next episode. So, we're going to leave. This game's got so much charm. I'm having a great time playing through this again. Wow. 
What? Has it opened up two levels? It has. Save our progress. Checking data on memory card. Right, yeah. What level do we go to next? Does it matter? Can we go anywhere? So what are they? It's the scarecrow fields and the enchanted earth. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, it looks like we've got a choice ahead of us. Let us know in the comments below, guys. What level should we go to next? Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more of the Medieval Let's Play. As always, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.